fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Grace the Octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. All right, here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, which you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Flips the punch. Back kick there. Oh, just misses with the kick. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Lands that beautiful jab. Kick attempt. Head kick, that's a miss. Oh, this is it. That right hand landed. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Another good shot to the head. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Oh. oh, nice job to block the kick. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Top. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Takedown defense holds up. 
Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Counter punch is good by Lee. Under two minutes now to go. Doing work with the jab there. starting to show signs of bruising now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking. It's starting to take an effect. Oh, countered nicely there with a beautifully timed uppercut. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself real traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Under a minute to go in round one. Good work, guys. Slip that one. Unable to connect with a right hook. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. <laughs> Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Let's go. Final seconds here. in the books. He won that last round. He was all over you. He did better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. Let's get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. Hands high. Work behind the gym. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Second ahead. round here. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, couldn't get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now getting back off of the stool. He starts back to Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Right hook to the head block. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. What a beautiful jab landing there. What a tricky head kick. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, nice. Another leg kick land. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. I mean, look at his left his left leg already on the outside. The inside of the right leg's gonna start looking at like that too very soon. He takes any more of those inside kicks. to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. 
Under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Shot to the body now blocked by Lee. Slipped that offer from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again. Nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch-up. Under two minutes to go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. The right hand just misses. Nice uppercut by the champion. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Lee circling to his right now. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as he goes. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Counter kick to the body there by Lee. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Blocks that kick to the body. All right, so the upper leg.
Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.